Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to my quick kernel review here. This is my Nexus 7 2013 model, Wi-Fi only, and it's currently running um, Resurrection Remix ROM, which is based on Android 5.0.2, and I installed a new kernel, which is called Elemental X. X, uh, as you can see here, I have also installed an app, uh, so I support the developer with this app. This app costs four dollars or something like that, and you can support the developer, which is always a nice thing. So, Elemental X kernel basically makes uh, this tablet really fast. So, 5.0.2 has a little bit of uh, trouble with the performance and animation sometimes. So go about tablet, as you can see, I'm running 5.0.2 and the kernel version is Elemental X, X, um, uh, February, um, 20th. Yeah. So this is kernel version 3.4 and it runs great. I have to say, um, all the animations are fluid. Um, it's, it's nothing like, uh, before I flashed this kernel. So kernel installation is easy. You can, Use the Elemental X kernel app for installing the the um, kernel itself. As you can see here, you have to um, differentiate between stock AOSP or CyanogenMod. Resurrection Remix ROM is based on CyanogenMod. Keep that in mind. So stock AOSP would be um, the um, original factory image of your device, um, which can be rooted also. This is the latest Elemental X kernel, as you can see. I'm using the latest, and this is my device. So right now I want to show you the different things you can do here. Overclocking is not available, unfortunately, but uh, you won't need that because your tablet will be fast enough to do almost everything on here. I like to play uh, Modern Combat 5 on it. Really, really nice device to play these games. I think the screen size is ideal. So that works. Um, oh no, don't want to change that. Minimum frequency is changeable here. As you can see, max, maximum screen off frequency. It's nice to have that. So you can go up to 1.5 original frequency. When you want to render videos in the background when your device sleeps, you can do that. Um, Governors are also available. Elemental X governor I have now. This is now active. Um, as the default governor, governor options is also available. Don't want to mess with the details um, because I'm not that experienced with kernel stuff. But I just wanted to give you a um, kernel tweaks overview and an overview of this app which it comes with. Frequency of GPU um, and GPU governor as the default option here is uh, performance. This is the default option uh, in this um, in this app. Performance gives you really great performance in let's say to and two to benchmark and uh, all the side definition games. Uh, backlight dimmer, color control module. You can also change. Oh, I can't disable it. Great. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to the next one. Wake options is great. You can go for double tap to wake, which is not stock with this device. The Nexus 7 uh, doesn't um, support that out of the box. So let's say we are in lock screen and locked mode double tap, and it wakes up like the LG devices um, you are familiar with. Sweep to wake is also available. You can do sweep swipe gestures uh, around the area of the navigation bar. Uh, wake function timeout, power key suspend, wake gestures. Yeah, you can also do that. Magnetic cover suspends wake gestures. You can also enable or disable that. Uh, you know, the uh, magnetic cover which is available for this device. I don't use that at all. I would like to have a case around my phones or tablets. So this is the uh, voltage you can also mess with. Uh, you can undervolt the CPU 
the CPU uh, global can also do that. Let's go for 20 millivolts under volt here and let's say apply on boot. This uh, can save you battery, but uh, don't don't um, try to go too extreme with the undervolting, which results in reboots and performance issues. So this is sound. Headphones gain, you can change, and also gain controls like the mic. That's great. The microphone you can change when you want to record videos with this device. I don't recommend that, but <laughs> you can do that in 1080p and um, when you have issues with sound or the um, yeah you can change how loud the sound will be uh, microsoft microphone gain um, and also the handset and speaker gain and miscellaneous you have the is scheduler i like to keep that uh, stock usb fast charge is great this is really great you can enable it when you uh, often charge your phone connected to your pc that's really great battery life extender this is also a very nice thing i had this um, active on my galaxy nexus i think and um, you can when you when you uh, enable this option the um let's say we choose uh eighty three percent here and we want to charge it and leave it like like that and um just want to charge it and we come home after several hours and yeah the battery will be eighty three percent like this and it will not go higher so when you go higher like above eighty percent it's not so good for the battery and um also when you when you uh, play games or something and you don't keep in mind that um, you are um, under 20%, let's say 20%, it's also not good for the battery. So above 20% and um, below 80% battery is the perfect, um, the perfect range of your, um, of your battery for a life extension. So yeah, this is a battery life extender. I recommend you to use that. I use 93% here. OTG and charge mode. You can go for that. Magnetic cover sensor. You can disable it when you don't use the case itself, the mag magnetic cover. Um, magnetic cover sensor and these. You can disable or enable it. TCP congestion algorithm, set Linux permissive enforcing. Some apps need permissive, so keep that in mind. You can change it, enforcing or um, permissive when you install some uh, zips in the uh, recovery. Some apps need um, permissive uh, Linux, SE Linux. So yeah that's all i can show you about this is the team elemental x kernel and you can also donate and for support you can go to this link here let's check out these settings real quick and you can see delete downloads when you install and all these kernel versions you can also delete the older versions which you have downloaded Check for updates, automatically reboot, update kernel, performance mode, notification, auto power save mode, you can also enable that. Temperature units, Celsius for me, and web app data and show tutorial again, you can also do that. There's a tutorial available. Modify power save and performance mode options. So for power save options, you can see 1.3 gigahertz is um, set there. Turn off wake gestures. No screen brightness. Yeah, this was my quick review of the Elemental X kernel. So amazing performance. I can show you that while multitasking. Um, 
everything is really fluid and uh games will be will be amazing so um it will be very fluid like modern combat 5 is a very graphic intensive game and yeah this review gets way too long i guess so let's end this video here if you have questions post them in the uh, comment sections below or head over to XDA developers forums and post it in the uh, uh, Q&A thread there. And uh, yeah, see you in my next video. Have fun with your Nexus 7 and be sure to check out this kernel. This um, makes it really, really fast and fluid, the Nexus 7 device. Uh, yeah, great tablet. And yeah, have fun with the kernel and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye. 29,179 points, which is, yeah, it's pretty good, but um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's pretty good.